Hi, I'm Damit uh, from the research desk at LOSC Securities. And I'm Dimisha from the sales desk. So we are going to give you a brief summary as to what happened uh, in the market last week. Dimisha. Thank you, Damit. Uh, to start with, uh, the, week's, uh, the week uh, started on a negative gear with the investors showing their dismay about the historical deal of DFC. Uh, in the absence of a clear conclusion about the deal, negative sentiment continued to prevail in the market. Premier conglomerate John Keel's holdings share price continued to dip close to 197 rupees, losing 2% during the week. Indices slipped sharply during the week while margin calls were weighted on the bursts as well. Altogether, nine crossings took place during the week while John Keel's accounted for three of them. Uh, that is at uh, 200,000 shares at 203 rupees and 250,000 shares at 202 rupees. And uh, United Motors also made a crossing of 1.7 million shares at 85 rupees. And other crossings were also recorded in uh, CSF, Ascot, and Home. Harish Chandra Mills contributed mostly to the all share price index, adding 2.18 points. Uh, as the share price climbed by 50% during the week with only six shares being traded, while Tobacco, Royal Palm Beach Hotel, Asha, and Asian Alliance followed the top all-share uh, all price index contributors by adding 1.31, 0.8, 0.48, and 0.27 points respectively. Diversified sector and bank, insurance, and finance sector contributed mostly to the market turnover, while beverage, food and tobacco sector index managed to be the least loser with a negative growth of 2.08%, supported by the basically the price increase of our tobacco. Although many parties raised the issues of the sanity of CSC due to the, the finance MSP effect, foreign investors actually enjoyed uh, the other side of the story by collecting fundamentally strong shares at discounted prices. However, local investor confidence is yet to revise, especially after the recent economic and corporate times. Well, basically, moving on to the uh, foreign uh, foreign uh, purchases and sales, the net foreign purchases uh, during last week amounted to 664.9 million, while the, net, uh, the foreign sales were uh, 155.5 million. Basically, there was a net inflow of uh, 509.4 million. The average uh, foreign participation for last week was 23.8%, uh, uh, with the highest participation uh, for last week being on Wednesday, that is 28.4%. Uh, uh, and also the, the lowest uh, participation being uh, on Friday, that is 14.1%. Uh, uh, if you take the, um, the main inflow uh, companies basically we saw uh, John Keys top the list with uh, 157.8 million rupees, United Motors 144.5 million rupees, Commercial Bank 82.1 million, Aitken Spence uh, Hotel Holdings 64.5, whereas the uh, net uh, outflows were seen in uh, Carson's that is uh, 29 million, and Nation Lanka that is 26.4 million. If you take in terms of volume, the net buying was seen in uh, United Motors, that is 1.7 million shares, People's Merchant, uh, 676,000 shares, and Overseas Reality being uh, 616,000 uh, shares. Over to you, Ramit. Thanks, Amisha. Moving on to the corporate announcements. This NSPDFC uh, post deal events uh, made a considerable tension among the business world during uh, the week as uh, criticisms were made against all the relevant parties. However, on Friday, NSB announced uh, that the board has decided to hold the payments as the decision of the ongoing inquiry was still pending. However, most analysts point out that CSC may have to go through some credibility issues where a complicated political network exists uh, behind the story. Meanwhile, the Access Engineering has purchased around 30 Tata Trooper trucks to transport in North and East regions. Uh, these trucks will be used for transporting soil, sand, stones, and will be operating in the sites where a, uh, a uh, excess engineering are currently undertaking road projects in North and East. 
Um, also, this textured gel Sri Lanka has decided to hold that their proposed uh, organic expansion within the Isabel, the BOI zone, uh, given the changes in the global and local macroeconomic uh, environment. After evaluating different options, so the board has decided that uh, textured gel ex expansion should be by way of acquiring an operating fabric mill uh, within the Asia, South Asian region. And also Expo Lanka has acquired 50% uh, shares of Equism Holiday India company uh, company for uh, USD 915,000. Uh, Equism Holidays is a global destination management and representation company while uh, which sell destinations where it owns and manages its own EMC. Moving on to the economic news. The government has made its strongest statement uh, to uh, prevent local tea exports from being contaminated by imported low quality teas to protect its higher, highest foreign exchange and its from. Uh, and also latest United Nations Economic and Social Commission for Asia, its ESCAP, uh, uh, has released a uh, report uh, that, that is Economic and Social Survey of Asia uh, and Pacific 2012. Uh, the name of the report is Pursuing a Shared Prosperity in uh, Era of Turbulence and High Commodity Prices. And it actually predicts that Eurozone growth uh, to contract by 3.5% in 2012, which would cut uh, growth by 1.3% and exports by 390 billion from the baseline. To steer inclusive development in Asia and Pacific, which is expected to grow at a moderate of 6.5% uh, for the year, the region should concentrate on policy changes that would stimulate and rebalance growth. Uh, Central Bank Governor Ajit uh, Niwad Kapral has admitted that Sri Lanka may miss uh, its 2012 growth, initial growth targets of uh, 7.2. He stresses the fact that uh, uh, over 60% of the Sri Lanka's exports, primarily garments, are uh, to the US and Europe. Uh, the government also decided to give a very attractive tax exemption for the sample coal power plant project, which will be debated in the parliament. Uh, the documents detailing the tax exemptions uh, were presented to the parliament by the Economic Ministry under the Strategic Development Project Act, uh, which will be based on uh, build on operate basis. Uh, moving on to the, the global news. Uh, thanks again, David. Uh, moving on to uh, global news, uh, JP Morgan shares were down sharply last week in the pre market of 57.6% at $37.65, dragging down not only the other big uh, banking stocks but the entire U US market as well. That's what happens when you basically hedge your tanks to the tune of uh, two. $2 billion. Morgan Stanley is down 2.8%, Goldman was down 3.1%, and Bank of America was down by 3%, and Wells Fargo was down by 1.8%. Basically, Asian markets fell, capping a week of losses across the region after disappointing China economic data added to the worries over a slowdown in the world's second largest economy. While banking shares dropped after JP Morgan made the $2 billion trading loss. Iranian crude oil exports fell sharply again in April and could be down by as much as 1 million barrels a day this quarter as many countries reduce import ahead of, ahead of sanctions that is to come into effect uh, on 1st of July. Uh, this, uh, the International Agency uh, Energy Agency said on Friday. Thank you very much for being with us and see you again soon. Thank you. Thank you.